Hallelujah. Jesus has seen you through already. Yeah. That is the meaning of your coming here today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You may be seated. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. That a man is rich does not mean he's better than you in the presence of God. One of the richest in the nation, in the world, does not mean in the presence of God he has a better position than you. Because of those things, he becomes your mentor. When it comes to spiritual issue, we don't look at the wealth and possession or fame. We don't use this to choose the person to be your mentor. The only thing the Bible tells us about this, such a person must be a communicator between visible and invisible. And when you see a communicator, one of the qualities you see in them is contentment. Because they believe they are what God says they are. And they have what God says they have. Contentment. They don't look at other. They don't compare other. They are always content. Look at the word contentment. To be content is to be satisfied. No matter how little or small. How many of us are content here? How many? That is the challenge the war at large today have. That is the challenge you are having. More, more, more. And the Lord knows that no matter what he gives you, you continue to ask for more and more and more and more. Because you are not content, that has affected your peace. The peace of heart is not there. You cannot have peace. It's not possible when you are not content. You continue to run and 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 run until you discover whom you are. That, oh no, God's time is the best. Only those who are content know God's time for their life. Look at what you are involved in. Your income cannot even pay your house rent. Your house rent is more than your income. How do you pay your house rent? The little you have now, if you can be content, it will grow. The moment you are content, you are living battle for God. Whether the prayer answer or not, you ask for bread and there is no bread, the Lord will still remain your provider. Will remain your God. You will not run from one church to spiritualist or witch doctor because you believe your prayer is not answered because you are not content. It's a gift of God. It's a thing of heart. The contentment comes from where? From heart. The first place we are to prosper is in our spiritual life. The challenge we are having now, your financial life, your emotional life, are so much bigger than your spiritual life. When your spiritual life is three, every other area in your life are 20, 30, 40. Contentment. When you are content, no more fear, no more murmuring, no more complaining. The opinion of people about you does not matter, but the opinion of God. No one knows you better than yourself. Amen. Let them say whatever they want to say about you. Amen. But when you are not content, you listen to what people say about you. It is what, what people say about you dictate the direction. Your situation dictate the direction of your prayer. So then, when are you going to say thank you, Jesus? 
Because in this war, you cannot be zero free. When you are content, you wait for God's time. When you are content, God's time will be your roadmap. God's time will be your war. Your roadmap. When you want to move, you say, God's time. God's time. When it's not God's time, when everybody's moving, you just wait. And when you move at God's time, everything looks beautiful. Where God guides, he protests. So let us wait for God's time. Look at our life, even our marriage. When you talk of marriage, there are two things we must take note. The right time and the right person. It is the right time that brings about the right person. Not the right person bring about the right time. If there is mistake in these two, there will be trouble in marriage. Tell your neighbor, the right time and the right person. The right time bring about the right person. Yeah.